So one thing that really excited me, I mean, I say excited. It's both with happiness and sadness, is the announcement from Adobe that by 2020, Flash will officially be retired. Yes, it, no longer it's, like shipping the player. It won't be in any browsers. It's, it's it's bye 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 Flash. I know, right? I mean, for me, it's like things that need to be addressed because you relied on a plugin, and this plugin, even though it did great work, was also occasionally known for being not very safe. Right. And you could run things on your computer that wasn't supposed to be running on your computer. Oh, yeah, I, I love the, the old ActiveX stuff. I remember that there, there was one released where you, you could create a media player in ActiveX. Yeah. Um, but we, you know, which you would use to play media. But it also had a, uh, you could also iterate over every, the CD drives on the computer. And one of the functions you could call was eject. <laughs> so, so, and it's just like, you know, since I've had this out, it's like, wow, that's amazing. Typey, type, type, send it to a friend and uh, watch them across the office. And they open the thing up. You say enumerate CD drives, immediately I picture like a good old tower with like 16 <laughs> CD drives. <laughs> just and the old is just like that. <laughs> Older. I mean, but thinking about the things that Flash brought us. I think it had a huge impact on setting a bar what sh what needs to be possible on the web. So and it took us actually way too long to get there. I think absolutely. Uh, and even one of the most basic things was um, if you if you brought a PNG into Flash, yeah, it would work. Like you know, even with an alpha channel, yeah, like, fine. But then if you exported it, like you, you would drop in like a you know 120k PNG, yeah, and you would get this like. 30k swift out of the other end. That was magic. Magic. Yeah. Like magic. What it was doing is it was uh, encoding the PNG as a JPEG, it but then taking the alpha channel out and keeping that as a PNG and reapplying mm. it. So it was doing sort of lossy with an alpha channel. Because I remember you could you could control the quality when you export it from Flash, yeah. and you would get the yeah. typical JPEG blocky fight artifacts. Yeah, it was JPEG. So yeah, I didn't know that. I s actually, I didn't know that until now, but now it explains everything. But, but if you think about it, like we are still struggling with that on the web today. <laughs> Pretty much. Like we've got WebP. Yeah. But like not all browsers have it. Sadly not. Um, I, I think there's a few alternate formats that have that sort of lossy of an alpha channel. But it's incredible to think of like the very first versions of Flash had that, and, yeah. and we are still st we are still stuck. Um, thinking about other things, oh, like video, right? Video yeah. On the web. It took Opera like many years later to kind of actually kind of go right. We we actually and it was the only platform that did like anything with DRM in the day, which allowed big companies to bring their content to the web in at least one shape. Things with, with dynamic video like that we we only kind of fairly recently have with sure. uh, extended uh, media, media extended ex source encrypted media. Ex no, it's not the encrypted one. It's mm. the media source extensions. And yes. Yeah, and that's where. See, Paul would know that because he wrote the media he, app. He did. Oh, we but should then get again, that guy back. No, we shouldn't. No, we shouldn't. <laughs> you know what? Yeah, no. no. But, but the same with like web audio. Like the, that came way much later than than Flash gave us it. Um, and I mean, even now we are at a point where web animations are still not widely supported or cover yeah. all the use cases. And that was like the basic feature of Flash. Well, to be fair, I still think in Flash, people were for doing actual animations, people were very reliant on GreenSock. Like I don't think that like in the IDE you could do your animations, but yeah. if you were animating by code, I think oh, it's I like time time to get GreenSock out. That's the, I guess yeah. Uh, there wasn't like a web animation type type of thing. Um, but I mean, it would be great if part of the, I mean, GreenSock is still a library and it's super good. It mm. would be great if you could just remove a chunk of their code and have oh, yeah. it on the platform as it oh, is, yeah, absolutely. pretty much specified as web animations. Web animations just the browsers don't have it fully implemented. And yeah. so they have to like reinvent the wheel and make sure like no rasterizations happen and all these things. And I'm hoping that this deprecation will actually, all these things that we talked about will like push them forward quicker yeah. than they've been moving so far. Yeah, I, I, um, I remember when IE9 came out and like SVG became like a, a, thing. a thing that we now had across browsers. Yeah. And then the, the war started, like developers were sort of like, you know, you know SVG is it's the answer to all of our problems. And then another camp were like, no, boo, SVG is bad. Canvas is the way forward. <laughs> and I remember sort of like um, me as a Flash developer and sort of seeing other Flash developers say the same thing. We're like, mm. well, the answer is both, right? And, yeah. and, and it was yeah, coming from a Flash background. I was like, well, yeah, you, you use the vector stuff for the vector stuff and like DOM based yeah. things for when you need the interaction. 
But if you just want to draw something and then, or even like, you know, you might want to draw something in vector and turn it into a bitmap. You might want to take a, a bitmap and make it the background to a vector shape. And yeah, and F Flash really was doing I this think like that's, ten that's years the ago. Thing. It, there's a tendency in the entire community to to take a tool and make it the tool for everything, mm. even though you kind of want to use different tools for different purposes. And it's just, it's, it's. I think we're getting better at this, but there's still a tendency like I want to learn one thing and it should. You know, cover everything, so I only have to learn this one thing, yeah. and not bother around the ever-evolving ecosystem. And I don't think the web is a good place for that mentality, honestly. Well, I, uh, yeah, and I, f I think one of the one of the things that we need from Flash that we, we don't have right mm -hmm. now is a good IDE for doing sure. those kind of animations. And I know Adobe have, are working on it, or were working on it. I can't, I, I can't remember which projects they still have on the go, but it, it feels like we're losing a sort of a big group of. Um, People who don't want to write code but are able to make yeah. amazing animations that sort of sort of lost from the platform, or, or they've had to go to something like uh, After Effects or something, yeah. and and now you know the developer will have to recreate all of that sort of in the web. So I hope we get there with something like that. So I feel like this deprecation is especially for big companies to invest, forcing them to invest really into like replacing the Flash tool that they had with something that is native to the web, and then yeah. hopefully the entire ecosystem will benefit. Whenever I'm writing a talk, I get the same the same problem. It's like, you know, I kind of run out of things to say, and then I'm stood there going, <laughs> oh, well, that's that then. Eh? Bye then. Bye. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>